expressive effects that a guitar player can use is the wah-wah pedal and it doesn't get enough attention as far as how to play it. Um, I mean when I think back to some of my earliest guitar influences, Jimi Hendrix of course, Eric Clapton, um, White Room, Terry Kath from before the old Chicago solo. I mean there's some incredibly expressive things were done with the wah-wah and nobody's really ever talked about the technique of playing wah wah that much and I'm going to try to do that for you a little bit here um, and try to sit you through how I use it and um, and how I think it could be a big plus to your arsenal of effects in your guitar world. <laughs> now generally because of I think a lot of wah wah stuff probably predominantly is, is used for like a uh, for rhythm guitar tracks. So this is one of those things where you probably wouldn't have a lot of reverb or delay on it unless it was synced up to the time, you know? But I think if you think of like a, a old funky guitar players, funky guitar parts, they would have it pretty dry because it's a, when you have the wah-wah on uh, in a track, it almost becomes a percussive effect and you don't want all the delays and reverbs bouncing around. So a lot of times when I'm playing just funky rhythm, in a band concept, I mean, I'll just pretty much have it dry. And that's probably rule number one. If you're going to play a wah-wah part on a track, you know, playing funky rhythm behind somebody else is not to have a lot of delay and stuff going on because um, it just kind of gets in the way of the percussion uh, uh, effect of wah-wah itself. Now, there's a lot of different uh, ways to play it. I mean, if you're if um, if you're keeping time with your foot, that's one approach to playing like a funky guitar wah wah part where you're just kind of going. So if I put on, if I put on a track behind me. That's a pretty usable technique right there, and all I'm doing is scratching and 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 uh, depressing the pedal to the nose position on two and four. So if you have any time at all, that's a great effect, right? And you're just sitting right there grooving along with it. Now you can do double time that. You can do. can do it either as a steady pulse like that to keep a groove going or I can actually kind of improvise with it where I where I'm kind of <laughs> almost like as if I was vocally going wah 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 
that's what I'm kind of following um, with my foot. <laughs> So that's another effect too. You can do that, um, and it's easy to do. I mean, if you can just get used to kind of singing, depressing, <laughs> depressing the pedal along with your singing. So I'm kind of talking like this. So as you can see, Wawa can be quite expressive. Um, you can use it for like an ambient texture thing, which I do sometimes with a, I might actually add a little reverb in this case and do like a, a quick uh, wash. With the pedal, and that kind of makes a nice textured pad underneath uh, something else that's going on. Uh, you can use delay if you're gonna, have it synced up in time and do like uh, effects like the the kind of uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex or whatever it is that that's not what is it called uh, anyway you know the kind of you know, that's kind of a nice effect I guess if you want to do in the middle of a track uh, but that's for ambience and effects the general use of Wawa uh, I tend to keep it pretty dry. Single notes can come alive with a wah wah part if you're playing like a single track like this. If I'm, if I'm up on a groovy track behind me. See, the wall can be like super expressive. I hope you get some new ideas out of all this.